I think I had a before and after picture or something like that. When Susan Sinclair saw a Facebook ad for a new wrinkle cream, it seemed like a great deal. $4.95 for one month free trial. But she says she was shocked when the next month two more bottles came with a hefty price tag. One cost $89, the other $99. There's no information that you're going to be charged that. There's none that you're going to be automatically refilled. After three months, that $4.95 turned into nearly $600. It's big time pickpocketing. Kathy Hughes saw a similar ad. Weeks later, she was charged $99. And when she complained, he said, when you order the sample, you give us the right to keep sending it to you. And I said, no, no, I did not. But both women did just that. They just didn't know it unless they notify the company to stop sending merchandise. They will continue to be charged. It's in the terms and conditions. According to federal law, they're supposed to be disclosed clearly. But on these websites, they're buried at the very bottom of the page. It can be something that consumers might miss. Claire Rosenzweig of the Better Business Bureau says many consumers don't know they need to opt out or are confused by it. If you can't find something like the, the information on the terms and conditions that you can understand, then you should be looking somewhere else. It's not just wrinkle reducers. Proactive, an acne cream has faced similar complaints. In a statement, they said they offer automatic product replenishments that customers may cancel at any time. Join the Fabletics VIP membership program. And after similar customer complaints, Kate Hudson's clothing line produced a video explaining what happens if customers don't opt out or skip. Forget to skip, your credit card will be charged $49.95. Rosenzweig says the bottom line is that consumers need to know what they're getting into. It's very easy to press that button to pay and to give your credit card information, but what a lot of us don't do is take a look at the terms and conditions. We tried to reach the companies that sold the face cream to the women in our story, but could only get their call centers. One representative said unless we had an account, there was nothing they could discuss. The other said they did not have any contact information for the company. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.